What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit and it's Tuesday, which means more Torque Drift for you guys here on Torque Drift Tuesday. So we got some new updates to the game, we got some new parts, we got English Town, we got a bunch of new things in the game. So we're going to be taking a look at some of that. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. So we did get a new track, new parts, Exeti Racing Clutches, English Town, and uh, some new wings from the Prospec Imports. So with that being said, we're just going to hop right into it. I don't think we have anything going on on the new track, so we're going to have to go to English Town in a practice session and take a look at it here for today. We are on the PC side with the controller the Xbox Elite controller looks like we have a little free roam we have the FD section which is going to be sweet to see if they actually have it the drag strip section and the go-kart track so we're just going to try the layouts first we're going to be taking the 180SX out we're going to try the layouts first and see what they look like then maybe rip some free ride so first layout is the FD section Looks like we're gonna hard initiate in. Throw it through over. Oh, I would say over the crossover. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we're mm, okay. We're gonna we're gonna retry that. <clears throat> Nobody saw that. Uh, we're gonna redo that lead run. So super excited to see a new track coming to the game as well as the FD season. Hopefully. You know, they can actually get it to go off without a hitch. I shouldn't have entered so fast there, so we're going to kind of kick it back in. Okay, we'll go this way. There we go. It loops back around. We bring the 180 out. Wasn't the best bet. Car's not super dialed, but hey. Kick it back that way, and that's the finish line. So that's actually a pretty flowy track. I do like we're gonna ooh wall tap at the end. I do like that. That's gonna be very incredible to see an actual um, FD competition in tandem. So we're gonna try and do a better lead run. So maybe we can get a you know a chase run by ourselves here on this layout. Initiate in a little bit later. Oh oh, taking out a front clip. Kind of missing those, not getting all the way out to there, but still better. This is a much better run than the last run, not getting all these clipping zones and had to avoid that. Okay, airborne. Uh, I don't think my 180 is the best for this. So we're going to go take a look at some of the other layouts of the new track. And maybe take out a different car, maybe take out the M4. So the FD circuit is definitely fun. Can't wait to get some tandem battles on that. So then we have the drag strip section, which I've had a chance to mess with this one a little bit. So I kind of know where it goes slightly. So we're going to see if we can actually get this. I should have clutch kick a lot sooner. M4 definitely much more dialed than that 180. And smack in the wall at the end. Falcon tires go round and round. So that section is definitely fun. I do like that with the way it flows. The entry is a little bit weird. So that's definitely going to be something to get um, caught up on. The go-kart section of this track. It seems like it should be a pretty straightforward course kick it in third uh, I should have clutch kicked very tight and technical with all the little jersey barriers everywhere I do like it oh except for when you go wrong steer 
So those are the new layouts. I'm super excited to get tandems with these, get a little more comfortable. I feel like I gotta retune some cars to make these really work. Maybe too much grip in the M4. Uh, but now I can't get out of this. Um, I think... Okay, that's how you do it. Alright. Alright, we're good. We're back. So, we don't have any money to update the FC. We're not going to go without trying to do some tandems here for today's episode. Because that, that would just be wrong. Let's go see what we got. We have a midway section. We have the Trident. FD Special. Jump. Tunnel Edge. So, let's go to the Trident. See if we can do the Trident here. On a controller. Definitely, probably going to be taking the M4 out. Just because the M4 is more dialed than the FC and the 180. And I just like the way it looks. If we can find somebody to go against, that's that would be the other kicker. Been having some problems finding some battles recently when I'm trying to uh, do some battles on the PC side. I'm not sure if maybe the crossplay isn't working correctly. But, as you can see, having some problems. Maybe some people don't want to run the Trident. Or maybe the car is just too high of a power. So let's see if we can't go to... We'll go to Tunnel Edge, because why not? Tunnel Edge is one of my favorite tracks. And I did get um, a video from a 11-year-old subscriber rocking a two, over 200k run here on Hakun Tunnel Edge. Definitely a crazy run. Dude's got skills, for sure. We're going to see if I can't... Oh! A little scrubby of the walls. M4 looking pretty solid right now. Ah, oh, I came out of it. Not what I wanted to do. Oh! <laughs> I'm trying to get too greedy right now. I'm just trying to get too greedy with the wall drags and everything. I should have just stepped it back a little bit. Oh, and not gone too hard in the paint on the first run. But we'll see what it gets stacks up against. 62, 102. I don't think we can take a win on this, but we will definitely try. If not, I'm going to get a rerun because I was feeling pretty confident in the beginning of this run. All right. Oh, oh wow. All right. Late initiation by the E30. Oof. I, I feel like his car is more of a missile than mine right now, but I'm just smacking into this man's door. Had to kind of double initiate that. And once again, getting too greedy on the wall. <sighs> you look at my runs on the phone versus my runs on PC, and there's definitely a difference. But getting better, getting a lot better recently on the PC side with controller. If you guys have been following my channel, you guys know I was a, a, a wreck when it came to that. We're going to try and get a rematch on him. Let's see. Going to want to? Oh, he said, nope, I'm done. I don't feel like it. I don't want to do it. So we're going to try again. Looks like we're going up against 8,000 horsepower S15 on Android. Oh, I like that. They added that in there. I didn't notice. Like, I was on iPhone. This guy's on Android and shows me on Steam. Ah, oh, so you guys can tell. So the crossplay is working. I just couldn't find a battle. So we're going against an Android user in that S14. Kick it in hard. Flick it back. And too hard in the paint on that, but for some reason we didn't lose all of our drift points. So we might be able to somewhat salvage this run. As long as we can stay off the wall and not to get too greedy like that. Ah, oh, once again, the greed gets me. The greed gets me. Now, it's a better run than last run, but the greed is still there. I want all the wall drags, all the wall points, 124 to 90. We might maybe be able to come out with a win on this one if we can stick to this man's door
Kind of a different initiation point than I was used to. Throw a massive angle in that 15. Hard on the handbrake there. Got a rotary banging in that 15 right there. Oh, kind of sliding hard in that man's door, but hey, we here. We're still there. We got this. Kind of getting the flow again here on Torque Drift. Going to be doing a lot more. Going to be doing some live events and stuff again. PC definitely working great. I do love the PC aspect of the game. Can run it easier, run live streams easier. We didn't take the win, but it was close. Because this man let me get a clutch and try one more time. Is he going to say no? Nobody ever seems and wants to go again because they see me wreck and they're like, oh, I don't know about that. He might have a better run. It does not look like this man is going to want to go again. So we're going to try to find one more opponent for today's episode and see if we can't do a run without totally messing up. There you go. It's a BMW. This one's on iPhone. Fun haver. All right. Gibson 95 in that old BMW BMW battle taking a taking a little bit of time to uh, ready up either maybe taking a screenshot or just taking a breather before a run I don't know so let's try and get a solid lead run here today throw it in hard Oh, I thought I was going to get greedy on that wall. There we go. I kind of used the brakes a little bit to slow my roll a little bit on that so we didn't go too far. We're going to have to do the switch back. Nope. Eh, there it is. <laughs> there was that lack of uh, concentration and the greed. Ugh. Apparently... I am trying to be too saucy today here on Okone in this M4. Yep, yep, 177. You do, you do, you, dude. I got kind of walked on that. So we're going to definitely try again if he will give us a chance. But we're going to try and chase him down anyways. See if we can't get a solid chase run. I feel like I just need to go back and retune some of these cars because I feel like the tuning for the way the car handles on PC with a controller is a little bit different than it used to when I was on my phone. So I feel like if I went back and just retuned some of these cars to run better on the controller, I might be in a better situation. But we're, uh, we're definitely slamming this dude's door right now. Best chase run of the night. I mean, I'm okay with that. 60,000 chase run. That's probably the best chase run I've had all night. Wasn't good to best him, but can we get a rematch? And see if I can't better my lead. Opponent left. Well, I don't want to I don't want to end this episode on a loss. We'll try one more time because I really don't want to end on a loss. Another E30. It's an all BMW battle for today apparently. Another iPhone user over there. 1155 horsepower. A little uh, blue and purple livery going on. Black roof up there. Falcon tires in the rear. Taking a little bit of time to uh, queue in. I always keep forgetting I have a clutch to use. It's easier for me to use a clutch because I'm on a controller. I love the animations of the driver inside the cockpit. That too. Let's initiate in. Didn't get a good initiation or extra initiation points, but oh, I hesitated a little bit too long on that transition. And unfortunately, that's probably going to cause us to not get super high. Feather off the gas. We don't go too far into the paint there. Okay. Probably best lead run of the night. 130, 100, yep, 130 thou. I'll take it, 134 to 111. We may be able to take a win on this one and end this episode on a W, as long as I don't mess up my chase. 
So if you guys like seeing Torque Drift, I know you guys do. Let me know down in the comments. Tap that like button, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber of the channel. I would appreciate the support. If you want to help support the channel and what I do here on the channel, all you got to do is become a subscriber and come back and watch the videos. That is all you need to do to help support the channel. Uh, like I said, we need to get back on this man's door. That was a really long e-break track. Oh, that is what did him in. He pulled at me. Trying to go too saucy on that on that area. I thought we were going to biff it into that wall. Out of the tandem zone. Hopefully we take a W. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Torch Drift on Torch Drift Tuesday. A little look at English Town. Can we get more into that? More car building on the other RX-7s and stuff here. We did take the W. So we're going to end on that note. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. And as always, I just thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.